Uh, this question is about uh, the length of a rectangle is far greater than its breadth. So the breadth is x and therefore the length has to be x plus 4. Okay, find in terms of x the perimeter of the rectangle. So this is the question here, okay, it stops here. So what you gotta do is you gotta add all the lengths together. So this length here is also x and this length up here is x plus 4. Joey, what are you gonna ask me to do? Okay, so we're gonna add them all together. x plus x plus 4 plus x plus x plus 4. How many x's do I have? 4 x's. How many numbers do I have? And when you add them together? So the perimeter is 4x plus this perimeter equals sorry 32. So this is the answer to part, that's the answer to part 1. The answer to part 2 is use this information to form an equation. Here's my equation here. And part 3 is going to solve the equation. Move the 8 over the other side and we get minus 8 which gives us 24 and x will equal 24 over 4 which is 6 okay that's handy enough wasn't it moving on the perimeter of a rectangle is 42 the length of the rectangle is twice its width if the width is x what does that mean so let's do one that's twice the length of the width rectangle length is twice its width around there if this is x, what is the length? 2x. Twice its width is 2 multiplied by x. 2 bigger than its width is x plus 2. Okay, write down the length, 2x. Draw the rectangle, done. Form an equation in x. How do you make an equation? What's the perimeter, guys? X plus 2x. 2x. X plus 2x plus x plus 2x. How many x's do I have now? Four. But when you add them all together? Four. 1 plus 2, 3. 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 plus 3. 6x's equal 48. That's your equation. How do you solve the equation? Anybody know? 6 divided by 48 divided by 6. 48 divided by 6 gets us? 8. Okay, x equals 8. This makes it 8 by? 16. And how do you get the area of a rectangle? 8 by 16 gets us? 8 multiplied by 16, anybody? 128. 128. Because Luca will say six, six, 8 times 6, 48. 8 carry to 4. 8 multiply by 1. 8, 8 plus 4. 128. So there you go, 128. Okay. Moving on. The perimeter. Okay. Using this information, it's an isosceles triangle. Write down equation in terms of x. How do you get the perimeter of a triangle? Add every side. When you do a perimeter, you do a lap. So you're going to do 4x plus 4x plus 5x minus 1. All of that has to equal 64. Look at the x's. 4x plus 4x plus 5x gets me. 13x minus 1 equals 64. That's the equation. Now it wants me to solve it. How'd you solve that? Uh, 64 minus uh, 1 is 65. So it's going to turn into plus 1. So it's going to be 13x equals 65. Then x is going to equal? 5. Or 65 divided by 13, which is 5. Done x equals 5. What is, the, what is the length of the base 5x minus 1? What does that mean? Because 5x minus 1, you need to find out a number for it. And now, you know, it's 5 times 5 minus 1, 25 minus 1, 24. Okay, they're actually getting easier, aren't they? Now, finally, here's a hard one. Okay. 
three consecutive numbers. Consecutive numbers. Uh, yes, Harry. Huh? Oh yeah, just give me a second. Okay, three consecutive numbers, and I'd like you to do it like this, Harry, if possible. Okay, three consecutive numbers. A consecutive number. Is, I'll give you an example. Three, four, and five are consecutive numbers. What does consecutive numbers mean? One after the other after the other. Okay. So, consecutive numbers. If one of them is x, what comes after x? X, x two, two x. No, x plus one. Because um. three, four, and five. There's a gap of one between the first two, mm. and there's a gap of yeah. two between the first one and the last one. So there's a gap of one between the first two, and then there's a gap of two between the first one and the oh. last one. For three consecutive numbers. But isn't x plus one the same as x? No, uh, if x is four, if I said x equals four, okay. it means the first number is four, the next number is five, and the next number is six. So guys, look at this. Okay, add the three consecutive numbers together, and what do we get? Twenty-one. How many x's do we have? Three. Three x. Plus three. Plus three equals twenty-one. Bring over the tree. X equals six. It means it's six, seven, and eight. And when you add them together, you get twenty-one. Okay, guys, just let me check one thing out before I stop. Now, guys, if I told you, whoop, if I told you three consecutive numbers, okay, three consecutive numbers added up to. 36. So, sorry, three consecutive even numbers added to 36. How would you do consecutive even numbers? I'll, I'll give an example. It'd be two, four, and six. six. Okay. How would you express that in terms of x? X plus, two, x plus four. X plus two, x plus four. And we, when you add all three of them together, you get thirty-six. So x plus x plus two plus x plus four all equals thirty-six. How many x's do we have? How many numbers? Which is six. And then what do you do now? Minus six, then what happens? X equals 10. 3x equals 30, x equals 10. And this makes the answer 10, 12, and 14. Okay, give you another one. Three consecutive odd numbers. Now I'm just going to make this up in my head, give me a second. 27. Okay. Three consecutive odd numbers add together to give you 27. What are they? What is the value? So how do you do odd numbers? X plus three. One, three four. Okay, so the answer would be tr one, three, five would be an example of three consecutive numbers. We change it to X, okay? X. X plus three, X plus five. Okay. It's still technically x plus 2 isn't it? Yeah. Because it's 2 bigger and the other one's going to be 4 bigger. It's still the same thing isn't it? So when we add them all together we should get 27. So let's see what happens. So x plus x plus 2 plus x plus 4 equals 27. How many x's do I have? How many numbers? And then 3x will equal? x equals? And what's the answer then? 7, 7, 9 and 11. Okay guys.